Hi everyone! So today I'm going to attempt a very long flip and drag as you can see. I have a one meter long canvas that I shouldn't have moved because I had leveled and stable. Seems fine, okay. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see I mixed a lot of colors. <laughs> I want a rainbowy look to my flip and drag. I mix a lot of white and then uh, just a little bit of uh, a lot of colors. <laughs> I have fluorescence, I have uh, rain, my main rainbow color here and I think that is going to look uh, quite interesting. So I mixed my paints the usual way uh, except the white. I mixed uh, titanium white and zinc white together. Now you're going to ask me why white is white. Yeah, but the pigments in both white have different properties. The zinc white pigment, which is a zinc oxide, is um, transparent, but is very heavy in density. That's why I like zinc white so much. But it's transparent, so when you get cells and they're outlined by the zinc white, you kind of lose them because uh, the zinc white will dry transparent and you lose a lot of details. So that's why I put the titanium white in there. It's also kind of heavy, well it's pretty heavy uh, in density, but this pigment is opaque, so um, it's going to uh, hopefully keep the details in the cells once it dries. So I mixed about 30% titanium white to 70% zinc white. Mix that and then to my mix I added another like 70% medium. Um, the golden fluid acrylic that I used for the zinc white is very pigmented. The Senelli acrylics that I used to are quite nicely pigmented so I think that 70% medium is just enough to keep the properties of the paint and keep the heaviness of the pigments and yeah that's it for the white. <laughs> Long explanation but um, I think it's worth it. The rest of the colors are all um, heavy body paints or fluid acrylics. So for the heavy body paints, it's 50-50 painted medium, easy, then 25% water, easy. No water in the white, uh, because water is lighter in density than most all pigments pretty much, and it helps the colors, the light density colors, sell out. So I want my white to sink in the other colors to push them up and create cells that way. So water in all my colors. I have two fluid acrylics here. It's a couple drops of fluid acrylics to uh, about 70% medium and then about 5% water. And yeah, that's about it for now. And I don't think we'll be able to zoom you in fully today. We'll try. Uh, we'll try our best and yeah, we'll try our best to zoom you in and <laughs> I'll get started with that. Alright, so I will start by putting my colors um, in my cup and I'm hoping that it will all fit. I'm not putting the colors in order of densities since uh, it doesn't really matter. It's the fact that I will put the colors under the white that will cause the effects. And the white is already going to be on the canvas.
I had a little bit of a leak, but that should be fine. Now I pour my white. Bunch of cells already just in the leak. <laughs> Even though I didn't pay attention to any of the densities. It's quite interesting to see. I'll try to leave the leak intact. Here we go. The leak is intact. And all my paint is spread. With my uh, super kick decorating tools, it's bigger than most of my painting knives. So. Okay. I'll remove my tape. And here I go. And as I usually do with my, oh, it looks like it's uh, just fine. I will just dab in some spot where there's not much paint, just cover the canvas as I usually do with my uh, shelves that I've been doing lately using the flip and drag technique. And now I will give you a time lapse so you can see everything happen uh, while I pop my bubbles and um, probably not gonna cover the size. Alright, so I may have used too many colors and may have mixed them a bit too liquid, um, but I think it's uh, too many colors because I got uh, quite a bit of brown. But with that being said, even if I have browns in spots, I have a lot of colors as well and I think it's very colorful and very pretty. I really like it. I love that part here. Um, it's lovely. love the blue cells here. Um, they have so many colors mixed in it. It's just lovely. Uh, this part here is the part that I like a little bit less. It's uh, the most brown. I have some nice purple and blue cells here, um, some orange and yellow here, lovely. I can't get enough of it. A um, bunch of uh, smaller cells here but still quite nice. My uh, initial uh, uh, leak went away. I, I think my canvas is a bit warped. I had uh, really a lot of trouble uh, leveling it, but it's not leveled <laughs> even if I tried my best. So this part here is unleveled, but the rest of the canvas somewhat is. So I'm losing, I lost the leak, but it's okay because um, this part here is lovely. It's just a gradient with yellows and orange. I have a nice pink 
vivid colors there. It was the start before the colors ended up mixing with each other. But really, it's uh, really cool. I like that I have a lot more white than colors and it really is negative space and I always enjoy the kind of uh, aura around it here like that even here it's really cool and here there's a bit of yellow as well and there I never get enough of the flip and drag technique it's just lovely and I think that a one meter long canvas was the perfect candidate for a flip and drag and I think it's going to keep changing I'm seeing uh, cells under like here a little bit uh, here it's still selling up so but yeah it's just slow very slow I can't wait to see how it will dry um, hoping that I'm keeping most of the details that I have now I uh, hope that the I put enough titanium white in my uh, zinc white uh, so it's opaque Because I really want to dry, uh, I really want my white to dry opaque uh, in the spots where there is white in between. And I love the lost cells. <laughs> Not sure uh, why there is color there. I don't remember uh, putting color there, but there is some lost cells. I love it. We're back and. I am a happy painter, even though I got brown. <laughs> Me and brown. <laughs> I don't really like brown, but it's okay. Uh, I think it's still really pretty and very colorful, even though I got brown in some places. Uh, it's just me wanting to go nuts and uh, using too many colors. <laughs> but I think it's going to look pretty amazing and I can't wait to put it under a black light. I think um, it's going to be really cool under a black light with all the fluorescent colors that are going to pop here and there. Not sure where. I know there's fluorescent pink there, but the rest is... Um, oh, there's more fluorescent pink there as well. The rest is just a mystery. <laughs> where did they go? We'll see once we turn on the black light. You can never really... Um, see on the first uh, appearances of uh, someone or a canvas so um, really happy with this painting it's really colorful and it's really really special <laughs> it's a bunch of details this part here really colorful uh, it's just yeah <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself because I'm just too happy and I'm not really thinking and just enjoying the painting in front of me. Uh, and I should, I mean, <laughs> of course I should enjoy what I painted and I quite enjoyed painting it, so that's a must. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this painting, give it a like, uh, I would really appreciate. And um, make sure to subscribe for more and then we'll see you in the next video. Bye!